Please answer me. No. So, are you to drink fermented drink? No. Thank you. Clap for yourself. <laughs> in the year 2006, 7, 8, we taught it in Tobole. How many of you were in the class? And when we finished teaching, some people will go out and, and adjust the same one. That's why God is adjusting your life. <laughs> and it will be well adjusted. Because you mess up with authority, God mess up with your life. So if you have invested in this kind of thing and you lose it, please drop it and move forward. Mm -hmm. Anointing is meeting you on the way for better money. Amen. But if you're a businessman, we don't care about you. We are talking about what? The man of God in where? This altar, this arena. So if you're a businessman and you want to sell wine, fine. You go and sell. Bring the money and take your tithes. Because in Revelation, in, in Numbers chapter 6, he said, He that is separated unto God shall not drink and shall not sell. I, I hope you understand me. Yes. Now, will you count your costs before you start the deal? I want you who is seated here, who want to become a pastor in the future, please. We will tomorrow we have some ordination. We want to close and give you time. Oh, please talk to your pillow. Say pillow. Let let's decide. If your pillow tells you you want to drink vino, tomorrow when we are ordaining, sit at the back. We don't have problem with that. You can bruise and die. It is written, give wine to the one who wants to die. So you can bruise and die. But in this pulpit, any man of God who drinks, as that he said, when they take water, they will talk, talk. They will first of all answer to everything they heard in the market. Have you watched that? They are, they are defensive. They are quarrelsome. If your husband is a pastor, and he drinks you know, sorry for you, the husband, the wife. He will beat you before you wake up. <laughs> they are not normal. I'm sure that women will love me from today. Yes. If your husband are beating you before because you drank you know, you must be calm and gentle. And everyone shall say, Amen. Amen. So we have sorted out problem passages. That is a problem passage. Some of the quotations is called misquoted scriptures. The people use it to cause problems. Timothy, because of your stomach problem, drink some wine. So there are some pastors, their nickname is Timo, because they always have stomach problem. You cannot be called Timo anymore. You are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Another problematic problem, we are learning on problematic passages and we go straight into the kingdom and learn something very important, which is the 666. You can't miss this lesson today. What is 666? When is it coming? How is it starting? If you are a leader and you don't know anything about the book of Revelation, you are in big trouble. I know, I watch, I have been watching the preaching in the churches. You hardly will see any man quoting revelations. They are always quoting where prosperity is. Please, you better learn revelation because we have started revelation. And the dispensation is in where? Revelation. So continue to quote Matthew. Revelation is, is now. If you don't learn it, you will deceive yourself. The next challenge we have this is very clear, and I think I will boldly encourage all of you to look at it. It is written in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 34 and 35. It says, it's forbidden for a woman to speak in the church. And nobody is able to handle the scripture because the women are not even able to defend themselves. This quotation cost me. I almost died. That year and I did seven churches. And by the time the church will grow, this is a quotation that the spirit of envy will use. 
They wait till you buy a church fast and the church, church is big and they come up and say, it is written. The woman is forbidden to talk. Sit down at the bar, don't talk. Mommy, from today, you cannot be in charge of the church. I was in charge when the church was poor. When the church became rich, the quotation came up. We deceive ourselves if we don't learn the Bible. Another scripture, which is a, a scripture, we call it misquoted or problematic scripture. Is it okay to go to church and wear your shoes? We have some evangelists in our midst. They must make some rules because when they go out, people will ask them, is it okay to go to church with shoes? Must we not remove our shoes from the door before we come in? Why? Because the church is a holy ground. So when you are entering, you take off the shoes. Is it normal? And because of that, there are some pastors now, they wake up at midnight and they take off their shoes. Oh, oh no, no, not even shoes. I even understand that they take off their whole dress and be naked and they will swear. Please, that is idol worship. There is nothing like that in the kingdom. Do you remember God made a dress for Adam and Eve? Why are you removing your dress to pray at night? Because you want to kiss somebody. Don't get crazy on us. There's nothing like that. There's a reason why Moses take off your shoe. I've explained that before. I think in those days in the class, Pastor Hiss was there. We welcome Pastor and the beautiful wife. <laughs> the wife will be ordained as a pastor very soon. Clap for that. Yes. The two of them will be ordained. So when God enter the house, you ask the two of them, how is the church? So mama cannot be saying, God, yeah, I'm not part of this church. You me are the one. <laughs> Go ask her. The two shall be one. Amen. That's how it is in the kingdom. Some people are clapping weak. <laughs> When you are in the kingdom of God, KGMI, you have to know what KGMI does. And you must not sort out the doctrine. Some people like some part of the doctrine and they don't like some part. They like the parts which may be to sound okay for them. Then when there's another part of the law which is not good, then they don't like it. <laughs> you must like all. So we are making it very clear. So that if you don't like it, just call us. I don't need a letter. Come home and say, Mama, your laws are too hard for me. So I want to go and name my church. Jesus is coming soon. I will bless you and you will go. But if the church is KGMI, the church is yours. I repeat it. It's what? Yours. yours. You are responsible for the church. Amen? Amen. Okay. And that is the same thing Solution Rock is doing. The solution Rock is not going to ask your other church, bring all your money to me. When I finish chopping, I'll pay your rent for you. Mm -mm. Solution Rock says, who pay the rent, take care of everything, remember to pay your tax. So, if you, and then we have, what's the name of your church again? New Anointing Gospel, Gospel Church. So we are under the same umbrella. The names of the churches are called the tribes of the churches. So please don't forget, the tribes may have different dialects. When an Igbo is speaking, the tongue is different from a Bini. You can just know by the tongue. So the church may have a kind of accent, but they are all one under Christ. So in the Old Testament, we have 12 tribes and then it forms the Old Testament church. And yesterday we learned that all the Old Testament churches, everything is what? Physical. So Samson drank wine and Delilah took the eyes. In the New Testament, everything is what? Spiritual. So when the man of God is drinking, his eyes will be removed. And I said there are pastors now, they don't have eye, but they don't even know they don't have eye. Delilah remove it. Who is Delilah? Delilah is the things you like. So if you like something too much, wine will remove your eyes from it. 
May I forbid that any child of God will have his eyes removed. Amen. You keep your eye. And what is the eye? Purpose. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we are going to discuss this one very quickly. We will put them into questions. It is forbidding for a woman to speak. What is the meaning of it? The Bible is origin, or originated from the Hebrew word and the Greek word. So if you want to understand a quotation, you read the Hebrew and you read the Greek. If it's Old Testament, you understand it from Hebrew. If it is New Testament, you add the Hebrew, which is the Torah. Then if it is New Testament, you understand it from the Septuagint, which is the Greek. So if you use just the English to explain the Bible, and you don't go to the original meaning, you will do a lot of mistakes. And we are all aware that today, our great father in Nigeria, Papa Kumoyi himself has said, before he died, there will be some adjustment of doctrine. Why? Because he was understanding it with King James Version. But Jesus' original language has a different meaning. For example, should a woman cover the head whilst she is in the house of God? Covering of the head. 1 Corinthians 11, 5, 10. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 5, verse 10, verse 16. Write it down. You must understand it. The Lord will help you and help us all. So for that reason, some churches have a scarf or turban or gilly at the entrance. When you are entering the church, you must cover your hair. If you are sitting in a taxi, and just, God forbid, the taxi wants to catch an accident. Maybe you were coming from Baluku Market. You see trouble coming. Instead of calling Jesus, what you will be doing is, where they my scarf now? Where is my gilly? Gilly, gilly. Because a woman should not pray without covering the head. So this is what is happening. That's what you mean. It didn't mean the covering of a scarf. Can I help you? Okay. <laughs> all right. So we are going to learn all these things and then we can understand the scriptures very quickly. And we don't have enough time. What is another problematic scripture? Speaking in tongues. Some people say speaking in tongues is in the Old Testament. So we don't have to speak in tongues now. It is also said you are not even sure of what you are speaking. So don't speak it. If you have faith that the cripple will walk, you must have faith that you can speak in tongues. It's also a problematic subject and it needs explanation. To save time, I will go very quickly into explaining these things when it comes to question and answers so that we save time. Amen. Amen. Write them down. They are questions. They need to be answered. If you have more questions, send them, give them to Reverend Michael because we came to learn and understand ourselves and to defend the gospel. And the Lord would help us. Amen. Amen. The New Testament and the Old Testament are the same. Jesus said he has come to empower the words of his father. So the Old Testament and the New Testament are the same. Don't forget it. I repeat that because we learned it yesterday. For those who were not around, watch the video. The Old Testament is what? Physical, help me. And the New Testament is what? So in the Old Testament, there was real fire on the mountain. Right now, you will see physical fire. But there is fire on the mountain. Now, what is a mountain? A mountain is in the 
in the in the Hebrew, the word mountain means government. So the government of God is a government of fire. In the New Testament, we are still on a mountain. We are above and not beneath. And our mountain is what? Fire. So you are living with the fire of God. And it is also called the glory of God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. When we come to question and answers, every answer must have a backing quotation. If you don't know the quotation, you must search it. If you answer anything in the Bible without a quotation, Satan will not salute you. That's why even Jesus always go by saying, It is written. It is written. It is written. Last week we were doing a Bible study and I love a question somebody asked. The person said, God works with grace and mercy. Why did he destroy the earth with the flood? Why should God cause the flood of Noah to destroy everywhere if he is kind? It was a good question. And we were all cracking our head, but I had the answer for them. The world was destroyed because there was no an intercessor. Pastor Noah kept on warning the people. Come into the boats. Rain is coming. And when he goes to God, he will say, I'm telling them who. When the rain comes, me, I've told them who. But if you read Ezekiel, the Bible said, if I find someone who will intercede, I will stop what I want to do. How many people will God find in a land to change his mind? In the Old Testament, Abraham gave us the equation. The bargaining power of Abraham with God. If you find 50, will you change your mind? God said, no, my friend. 40, no. 30, no. For, uh, 20, no. Where did Abraham end? 10. 10. So if there are 10 people in a situated place where they live, Flood can't come there if ten righteous are found. When they lift up their hands, the flood must fall. I'm not joking, it's real. Amen. That's God's power. I thought you clapped. <laughs> you are therefore very important in your environment. Do you know that because you are staying in where you stay, that's why your area, our robbers can't come there. The little prayer you are doing invoke angels in that place. They cannot be killing somebody at the back of your door. When things like this happen in your area, stand up as a man of God. Pour oil in the area and make decrees. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Amen. You are in charge. You are not just in charge in your bedroom. You are in charge in your domain and territory. The anointing is power. You must exhibit it. That's why the Lord does not want you, the preacher, to drink. Because when you drink, you lose power. And it is very true. You never see a drunk person thinking right. Praise the Lord. So we have that question to answer. Answer all questions in the house of God with what? Quotation. Not with parable. We are not here. Talking about traditional ruler. They talk say where smoke day, rats never fear. <laughs> or rabbits never fear. Please, I beg, don't bring those things in the house of God. We have been given a manual, and the name of the manual is what? The book of God. So don't put the book of God down and be running traditional. Proverbs and riddles. Jesus did not say anything about riddle. He talked about what? It is written. Every question on earth has an answer in the Bible. I want every pastor to write this down. 
please don't forget. In case you have a question and you don't know the answer, call me or inbox me. I will give you the answer. We have been reading the Bible all throughout every year, so we may have answers to all questions. And I declare to you today, every question on this earth has an answer in the Bible. Amen. Number two, every occurrence on earth has ever been before. Don't tell me you have never heard before that there is, in the ancient days, there were no remote control doors. Hey, something new has come. Home. These days, when you are entering somewhere, you press button, door open. No. Remote control doors have been there. It happened when who? Yeah, prison. Who was in prison? Peter. Peter. What happened? The door opened automatically on his own accord. So write it down. <laughs> Every occurrence on earth has ever happened before. So if you see anybody having 20 wives, please just remember we have someone who recorded how many? Senior is right. In the Bible, David was wrong and God punished him. So in the kingdom of God, when you are wrong, I will say it in your face. I will not say it in the public. I will take you to my house and I'll say, call your son and say, sorry. Don't I do that? Yes. I call my son Ephraim. Ephraim, I'm very sorry for what happened last week. I really do sincerely apologize. I said sorry from, from the time they were babies. When I want to say sorry to daddy, I call the two of them, join me. Let's go and say sorry. They always help me to say sorry to daddy. That's why daddy is not afraid to sit down and ask me to preach. Because my sorry is a good one. It's a happy sorry. Why should the senior person say sorry? When you are wrong, you are wrong. But we come from some cultures that Bad thing is happening. Children can't talk. That's why we are running a kind of government that the government sits up there doing wrong thing and nobody can talk. The policeman have the right to put order on the streets. That's where his office is. And his office must be clean. No wonder when there are some people from some countries, when they are entering church, the usher says, please sit here. He will not listen to the usher. Usher will show you where to sit because you don't have order in your blood. You refuse to sit as where you must sit in the house of God. Am I speaking truth? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. If you don't understand me, I will appoint you as an usher. You will see what ushers go through. It's so sad. They want to sit anywhere they want to sit. There's no order in the house of God. Because they are black, don't have order. Truth is truth. Lies are lies. We don't have white lie and black lie. All lies are the same. And so if, if an adult lie, diplomatically say, I'm sorry, sir. You are lying, sir. Let's correct it, sir. And if possible, do it your way. Lie on the ground, say, I'm sorry, man. You are lying, sir. I'm on the ground, sir. Correct it, sir. And God will bless you. <laughs> the Bible says, Cast is the one who perverts the weights of correction. You come to speak something. Some people are dying inside because they know truth, but they were not given opportunity to rule in truth. It is important for us, as Kingdom of God mission, to know. How to build this church. If not, we are going to have trouble in the future. We have come to understand that in Europe, it is hard to work for people. And so, we encourage everyone to work for himself. 
If you work with an Italian boss, you know how hard it is. So when you are working, you plan to introduce yourself to some business so that you can be available for the work of God. Yes. Kingdom of God pastors must encourage their partners, if possible, to enter into some kind of businesses whilst they who are the head will not get involved in businesses so that they can have money flowing. We permit that. Amen. The Bible is coded with a word PPP. The past, the first P. The present, the immediate P. Then the third P, the period of time following the moment of speaking or writing. I want to help you. The Bible is a book that talks about yesterday. And the same thing that is yesterday will happen today. And the same thing that is today will happen tomorrow. So the Bible is called P, P, and P. And the Bible tells us that Joseph had an experience of the three P. He was put in prison, he was put in Potiphar's house, and he was put in, in the pit. So there's this three P that comes in everybody's life. Anything that happened in the past can happen in the present. When you are having any predicament in life, search your destiny in the Bible. I'm encouraging you, you are in the Bible. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. You are where? In, the, in Bible. the Bible. You don't wake up in the morning and come to me, Mommy, I want to divorce. My wife is so wicked. I say, why? My wife is just talking to me anyhow. I say, have you forgotten? That Mrs. Job told the husband, curse God and die. I'm very tired of you. I want you to die so I can marry again. <laughs> so if your wife tells you, I don't want you to leave, it's written already. Yes, you must not sit down and be crying over this. Get up, preach, pray, and keep on doing the work of God. <laughs> I can't believe my friends will tell me this. You know, my friends are judging me. The Bible said the friends of Job judged him till God came to the place to say, Friends, you go and say sorry to Job so that the curse of Job will not come on you. Mm -hmm. In the kingdom, we don't fight and separate forever. There is something called a while of a time. You come back again. We don't keep malice. It's, it's only Satan who is the malice keeper. You cannot hold somebody too long. I'm speaking the truth. These are all in the Bible. So here comes Job. He has suffered so many things. And he has come to the place. He passed all his exams. Job was sitting down. He said, Father, I just want to thank God for my life. My brother is so fair. He didn't treat me well. The other one said, my brother, he said that these two friends of mine are so bad. You know what God said? He said, Job, you have passed all your exams before you can prosper. I want you to call these two friends and pray for them. From there, you will change. Never! Over my dead body! I can never talk to them. When I tell you, go to this person, say sorry. You must do. Because it's in the Bible. You cannot love God more than without loving your neighbor. Are you getting me? So in order that Job can be great, what is the activities of Job? The very people that sat down and insulted him for two weeks. Don't stop. The Bible said they sat with him for two weeks, telling him that it is his sins that brought the trouble on him. And Job was explaining, said, no, they lied on Job. They are the same people. God said they gave Job capital to become something. In the Old Testament, it's physical capital. In the New Testament, if you can love somebody again, you will be blessed. Mm -hmm. So I'm not here to support anybody who is quarreling with somebody. I'm here to say, do it right. 
And if the person doesn't understand, stay away. After a little while, put the person back. Be moving forward. We are going to the same heaven. <laughs> Unless you want to stay in Zogo heaven. We have Zogo heaven. You know Zogo heaven? Okay, I don't want to say it on, online. <laughs> Where those people usually want to pray, put their head down. They have water everywhere because you must wash your hands and wash everywhere, everywhere before you pray. It's not clean. We have pure heaven. Amen. 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 So please, the Bible is what? P, P, P. The first P is what? The past. The second P is what? Present. The third P, write it. I know I'm quoting. He says, is it the period, right? Period of time following the moments of speaking or writing. Period, and it simply means future. I'm expanding future in another English. The, the Bible is past, present, and future. Now, future is defined with this English. What is future? Future is period of time following the moment of speaking or writing. I will expand this to you very quickly. The Bible, therefore, is a spirit of prophecy. The Bible is what? The spirit of prophecy. So number one, the Bible is the past, the Bible is the present, and the Bible is the spirit of prophecy. What is prophecy? The intents of God spoken ahead of time. The intent of God, starting from the period it was spoken or written, we start flowing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 19, verse 7 to 13. Somebody read it for us. We are taking off the scripture backings now. I spoke a lot. With scripture backings now. Revelations, you read for me when you open first. Just read, we rushing through to make the time very quickly. Revelations chapter 19, verse 7 and 13. Can we all read together if you are there? Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. Mm -hmm. Go on. Ten. And to her, seven to thirteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Verses eight. And Thank to her was granted mm -hmm. that she should be arrayed mm -hmm. in fine linen, mm -hmm. clean and white, mm -hmm. for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, Write, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto him, These are the true saying of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me. So now let's all read verse 10 together. Everyone go. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And, and he said unto me, See that I will do this. I am my favorite servant from the brethren that have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Worship him. But the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of the Lord. Raise up your hands now. Let's pray together. Father, we have come to understand the spirit of prophecy. Mm -hmm. I ask that you add your grace to me mm -hmm. and understanding to the hearers mm -hmm. as we set into the Bible. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, mm -hmm. amen. Mm -hmm. It is now very critical where we have reached in our lesson, our class of Vacation School of Divinity. Vacation School of Divinity. Next year, by the grace of God, this school is going to produce about five doctors in this country. Amen. There are some people who will be chosen and they will be given the, uh, a doctorate award in the school. Information of what? Tomorrow. And it is called the spirit of what? Prophecy. It is very dangerous, therefore, to be a child of God and you don't have any means of hearing from God. You must hear from God through dreams and visions, or you must hear from God through the word of God, 
or sometimes you wake up in the morning, you see a song is ringing in your heart. Have you felt that before? The song, sometimes you even sing the song in your dream. And, and when you don't write the song quickly, by the afternoon, the song is gone. That is a prophecy. Spirit of prophecy. I encourage you to stop.